Okay, so what is network marketing? So there are three main ways that products move and I'm gonna go through the three main ways where products are made at the manufacturers and then how they get to the end consumer that uses the products. So there's three main ways that this distribution happens. So that's right, one, two, three. So the first way that products move is through traditional retail. So let's call that TR. So traditional retail is probably what most people have got most experience in. This is definitely how I used to always buy all of my goods and um, products and everything really that I used to buy. How traditional retail works is where a product is made. Uh, that's a house actually. Let's say a, bo let's say a bottle of shampoo. We're just going to use an example. So a bottle of shampoo is made and it costs pence to make. So let's say three pence to make this bottle of shampoo. And then it goes on a massive production line before it actually is in the hands of the person in the shower washing their hair with that bottle of shampoo. So I'm just gonna take you through that journey. So the bottle of shampoo that starts off at pence, so three pence to make, it obviously needs to make a profit. The, the company that are making the shampoo are not um, a charity, they're not doing it for non-profit, they, they want to make a profit. So they put the price of the product up so that they can take a piece of the pie, they can take a part of the profit. And then what happens is it then goes on to a manufacturer's. So it gets delivered by a lorry driver, and uh, that's my lorry. Lorry driver obviously gets paid, and the costs of the lorry get paid. So for the lorry driver and the lorry cost to be paid, the price of the product goes up so that they can take a piece of the pie. So the product's gone up in price. Then it'll get to the manufacturers. The manufacturers, um, they want to get paid. They've got their own staff, they've got their own overheads. So how they get paid is by putting the price of the product up so they can take another piece of the pie. So the price of the product goes up and then it will go on another lorry to the wholesaler so that another lorry driver, another member of staff is paid, all of the admin that goes on behind that, insurances. Then you've got the wholesaler, they've got their staff, all of their overhead. So the price of the product is going up significantly in price now. So it's gone from three pence to probably about two pounds at this point because it's paying for all this middle process. Then you've got advertising. Now we all know advertising um, sees the price of the product go up sometimes 80% just to pay a celebrity to talk on an advert and say, I'm worth it, this product's amazing, you've got to buy this product. And we're paying for that from what we pay for our product. And the crazy thing is the celebrity that's endorsing the product, nine times out of 10, doesn't even use that product because it even says in small print, buy this mascara and then it will say celebrity or, or model is wearing false eyelashes and it's, it's absolutely crazy but that is how traditional retail works so advertising products can go up 80 percent and then you've got another lorry that will take it to the um shops and then you've got a member of staff that takes all the products off the back of the lorry, puts them into the back of the store. Then you've got another member of staff that will put them onto the shelf. Not to mention at the supermarket or at the shop where it's being purchased from. You've got your cleaners, you've got your till people, you've got your bag packers, you've got your managers, you've got supervisors. All of these members of staff all want to be paid. So by the time you actually go into the supermarket to buy your product, you end up paying eight pounds for that bottle of shampoo that started off at pence. And the reason why is because you're not paying for the ingredients, you're paying for this whole middle process. And that is traditional retail. And that is how most people know how traditional retail works. Like we know when we go for a cup of coffee at a coffee shop, we pay £3.50, we know it costs 17 pence to make. So we kind of are aware of that. And we know that what we're paying, 80 to 90% of what we're paying for our end product is uh, the middle process. So that is traditional retail. And this is why people are starting to actually change from, 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 move, from buying from number one, traditional retail, to the other two methods. So method number two is direct sales. So let's call that DS, direct sales. You might be familiar with direct sales because this is where somebody has decided to start their own business and cut out all of this middle cost, all of this middle process, and it's now just them in the middle. So they are the only person in the middle that is making the recommendation. So you might go to that person and say, I want to buy some cleaning products. I know you've got your own business with cleaning products. What do you recommend? And that middle person is the consultant that gives you advice. You get, you're paying for a, a product that has, has been reducing costs because you're not paying for all this 
middle process here. So you're getting a better quality product that's been reduced in cost and you're getting a service as well because that one person is going to offer you a better service than what you would have got from the person at the till when you were buying from the, from the shop. So direct sales is basically one person in the middle giving you advice, a recommendation and what you pay for goes on majority product and then partly on the service that you're receiving for the advice um, and for that good customer service that you receive from that consultant. So direct sales. And then the third way is network marketing or it's also now called social marketing or multi-level marketing. And this is where somebody chooses to um, have a login detail directly with a manufacturer. So you've got a direct login and you order your products for your personal use. So there's no consultant in the middle. There's nothing in the middle. You're the one finding out the, your own information. So if you were to book a holiday, most people book a holiday through the direct sales route. They speak to one representative and they say, look, I want to go away to a family friendly place. I want these flights. And you tell them what they want and they find it for you. They, they provide you with a service so you get your holiday and you get a service with that whereas network marketing would be you doing all the legwork so you doing all the searching and getting your the best deal possible directly from the flights directly from the hotel and um, so network marketing is going direct to the source so basically the product or whatever it is that you're buying is delivered straight to you there's nobody in the middle so the process is a lot quicker so how this relates to um, our company is our company has a network marketing part and a direct sales part. So basically we've got two parts to the business. Our direct sales part is where we offer our customers and our clients a service where they tell us what they want. They say to us, I'm feeling tired, I've got horrendous gut irritations, I've got poor skin, I've got oily skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, uh, my hair needs washing more than once a week, I only want to wash it once a week, I want to be healthier, I want whatever it is that they're saying that they want, I want more energy. You provide them an answer. So you are the middle person, figuring out what the solution is for their product and you are paid for your service, for your time. That is direct sales. The other half to our business is where we do the network marketing, where we personally link into the manufacturers, into the website and order our products directly for ourselves. So we cut out the whole middle process. So two parts to the business that we have and that is why network marketing and direct sales is such a fantastic business model because the end consumer is getting a high quality product cutting out the middle process and not having to go through this whole rigmarole that number one traditional retail does